So I'm back again with one of these short videos and in this one basically we're exploring can you use your GoPro as a webcam or should you even use your GoPro as a webcam. Now for full disclosure I'm actually recording this one on a Logitech C920 webcam that I bought when it was new and I think that's probably about six years ago now. It's an old camera but as you can see the picture on it's still excellent and it actually has built-in stereo microphones on either side of the camera. It can do things like autofocus if I move back or forth out of frame and it can also track my movements if I wanted to. There's a couple of other features I can do but uh, you know that's not really the point of this test. The point of this test is can you or should you use your GoPro as a webcam. Now full disclosure here I'm not actually using the microphones on the web camera itself I'm using a small lapel microphone and the reason for that is because when you decide to use your GoPro as a webcam, unfortunately the microphones on the GoPro are not supported. You would actually have to capture audio through a microphone hooked up to your laptop like I'm doing right now. And that's the reason I'm using the lapel microphone. I didn't want there to be like a visual and an audio difference between the two tests. So same microphone for both the Logitech camera and the GoPro camera which was mounted side by side and we're just basically going to see which one's better to use. Now as you know the GoPro had basically launched software for the webcam last year. It's supported on the GoPro Hero 8 and the GoPro Hero 9 and one of the things here is that you actually have to join a Facebook group to actually download the software for Windows because it's still in beta at the moment. So it's not fully completed. GoPro said they are releasing another update for it this year. It's going to be a big update and it's coming soon. But unfortunately they haven't said anything about what the update contains or, you know, when it's going to be released. I mean, how soon is soon? So the question is, should you spend $349 on a GoPro to specifically use it as a web camera? Or are you better off trying to find a secondhand Logitech C920? Well, let me show you what the video quality is like from our GoPro. So what's happening here is I'm actually capturing the video feed from the GoPro camera directly into OBS Studio and this is the result. Now I still have the exact same lighting, you can see how bright that light is off my hand. Lighting the scene here and as you can see the picture is just incredibly dark, there is some noise kind of just around these areas in the corners. and. You know, the other thing is that since the GoPro doesn't record audio, I'm still having to use the lapel mic here, which I just tapped and made a big sound probably. So, you know, all in all, I mean, the quality is just not up there with an actual webcam. Now, GoPro have said that they're releasing a big update and it's coming soon, but unfortunately they have no details of what might be contained in that update or when the actual date will be rolling out. But unfortunately, as you can see, it's just not up there with a proper webcam. Okay, so this is one final test and what I've done is I've actually turned on the overhead light here to give additional lighting as well as keeping this here and yeah, the picture is slightly improved but I'm still seeing a lot of noise and a lot of compression artifacts in the actual picture itself. In fact, if I get my, let's see, my light here and just try and even increase that just a little bit more. In fact, I'm gonna have to do it this way. Sure, if I just try and increase that light, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm really having to boost that light up just to even try and get detail here. I mean, here's the thing. I think, honestly speaking, the GoPro will work as a webcam if you're in a pinch of I'm not seeing a quality here that anyone should really be too enthusiastic about trying. I mean, the fact is, the GoPro is designed to be an action camera, you know, 4K if it's the GoPro Hero 8 and 5K if it's the GoPro Hero 9. And a lot of people think, well, hey, if I get a 5K action camera, I'm going to have a 5K web camera. But that's just not the case. The fact is that the GoPro signal is actually having to be output at that 1080p because that's really all the speed that the actual connection can handle. So basically you're paying $349 for a 1080p you know, webcam. And that just doesn't seem like great value to me, especially when you can see what the picture quality is like. So, you know, it's really a case of if you have a GoPro, 
and you need a webcam, great, now you have the option of using the GoPro as a webcam, but you're gonna need a ton of light to make it work properly. Whereas if you don't have a web camera and you're thinking, oh, should I get a webcam or should I get a GoPro? Mm, you should probably get a webcam because the picture for just the online meetings is gonna be so much better. Especially if you know you have low light setup or you don't have a proper actual studio setup that you can use. So therefore, stick with the web camera. It's the proper tool for the job. Don't get me wrong, I like GoPro. I love the fact that they're working hard on the software and hopefully their new software release can come up with something really spectacular. But right now, I just don't think it's there yet. And as you can see, all this lighting adds to another problem now because now that I switched back to the actual Logitech webcam, yeah, I'm kind of washed out here, and but at least you can see a lot of detail, right? And all this crap behind me. But. There's just one more thing I want to do before we actually you know, end this video, and that's I just want to kind of demonstrate to you what the audio will be like for us to actually use the webcam microphones. And here is the video basically using the stereo microphones on the Logitech web camera. And, you know, there's a pretty good distance between me and the camera. You know, it's probably at least, gosh, two and a half feet at the moment. So, this is what the pickup is like. You may hear some extra sounds. I've just had the heating come on. And, you know, a lapel microphone will tend to just pick up your voice and no other external sounds. Whereas the microphones on the camera, they're really kind of, you know, designed to have a more, a larger sound field capture there. So therefore it might actually pick up a little bit more background noise, but I think usually I find them to be excellent. So. You know, it's another point in favor of actually buying a decent web camera. And that kind of is the point here, which is that if you're gonna buy a web camera, you know, invest your money in a decent one. It might be hard to find like good brands of web cameras now at the moment, but um, from a visual standpoint and an audio standpoint, that's where the main difference is gonna be. So if you can't afford to actually get something like a Logitech uh, web camera, Get yourself a decent microphone. I mean, even the cheap webcams have pretty decent pictures on them. And once you have a good source of audio, I think you're pretty much going to be sorted. But as of right now, I just don't think I can recommend GoPro as a webcam. I don't think the picture quality is there. And with so many other camera companies like uh, Canon actually releasing drivers for the DSLR cameras to be used as a web camera, I think that might actually even be a better option. So hopefully you found this video informative and if you have any questions about, you know, using your GoPro as a webcam or the different methods of using your GoPro as a webcam, drop a line and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. It actually does make a difference and hit the like button too. I appreciate it. Cheerio.